Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on twin flame energies. So I haven't done one of these readings in ages and I feel like many of you could be curious about what's happening in your twin flame journey. Okay, this is going to be looking at your energy as well as the energy of your twin flame and I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. So let's begin with your energy. There's something very powerful happening in your energy and I feel like, you know, many of you could be going through this process of learning about yourself. This isn't just about your journey with your twin flame. This is also a journey to discover who you are and what you represent. What are your values? What are your beliefs? What do you want for your life? I feel like you're starting to define yourself and you're starting to stand in your light, stand in your power. What I'm seeing from this card here is that if you've had any sort of difficulties and challenges where you haven't been able to stand up to forces beyond your control in the past, it feels as if you now have the courage to do so. There's a very big shift that is happening in your energy right now. You're going from a person that used to be controlled by your circumstances as well as the people around you to gaining control over yourself and taking control over your life. You see, I feel like the old triggers, the old patterns, the things that didn't really enhance your journey, didn't take you to where you wanted to go are falling away. And this has to occur. Sometimes people are afraid of change, but change can bring you some miraculous results. Change is something that is positive. It's always welcome. You should always welcome change into your world because it opens up new possibilities. And when it comes to your twin flame journey with this individual, it feels as if you have a newfound strength that you didn't have before because you're not the type of individual right now to react to circumstances and emotions in a way in which it's controlling you you are now in control, okay? So it's a very defined sort of energy. You may find yourself in a position where, you know, you didn't have the courage to do what you're able to do now, a few months ago, a few years ago. It feels like a di very different type of energy where if you see something wrong happening in the world, you'll have your voice, you'll express it. You won't be meek. You won't be the type of individual that will keep quiet. Especially if you feel as if, you know, something doesn't feel right, I need to stand up for the underdog, I need to protect, I need to move forward. It's that sort of awakening that you've experienced during this time that is allowing you to see that you're not just a person, you have energy inside of you, you have power inside of you, and you're bringing that out to the surface. You're allowing that to be, you know, shown to the world. And this is something very majestic. And it all started with you going through this change where you're no longer looking at things from this filtered sort of glass. You're looking at it clearly as it is. And yes, there will be certain experiences that you have and witness and go through during the course of this journey that will make you, you know, feel emotional. But it won't feel like you'll be controlled by those emotions. It feels as if you'll have control over it. Okay, very big difference. Now, in respect to your connection with your twin flame, I'm seeing this energy of, you know, lots of desires to communicate, but it feels as if the energies right now are imbalanced. There's an opportunity here to come together and to unite. There's an opportunity to balance things out in terms of the energy because I'm seeing here there's an imbalance. There's a shift that has occurred. You see, before you might have been the individual that was relinquishing your power to your twin flame, allowing them to take the lead. But now it feels as if you're stepping up, you're transforming, you're changing, you are, you know, um, moving much higher in terms of your energy wavelength. You're not just at this one sort of level, you know. It feels as if you've enhanced yourself and you're looking at things differently. You're not giving your power away, okay? So there's an opportunity to come together here. Yeah, this is the energy connecting the two of you and that love will always be there between twin flames because you are, you know, essentially looking at the other half, the version of yourself that uh, you connect very deeply to in this very profound manner. 
with this person, your twin flame, I'm picking up the energy of them trying to process the situation on a logical level, okay? So maybe they can't accept things on an emotional level because they have a way of doing certain things, okay? This energy of this individual is slightly hostile because I feel like they're wanting to stick to their guns, you know? They have their fixed beliefs, they have their way of doing things, and this makes them feel challenged because... Now they're trying to figure out what is this, you know, they may have an idea that the two of you are twin flames, especially if you've discussed it with this person, but now I feel like there's this energy of uncertainty, like, you know, twin flames, does it mean they have to take the lead or are you taking the lead? How is this change and transformation that has occurred inside of you, how is this defining uh, themselves, you know, because it feels as if they're coming from a place of ego or perhaps wanting to keep things as they were. And that can never be a good thing in any type of relationship because people change, you know, you're going through changes constantly and it's necessary for evolution to constantly be moving forward instead of uh, moving backwards, right? So let's begin the clarification process. Feels like a resistance from this individual that you're dealing with. Picking up this energy of where there's certain things coming to light inside of their own soul that they don't want to face. And this is from their soul energy. Yes, you see? This person doesn't have the ability to take action to make this communication happen. So it feels like it's a stagnant energy and this individual is not allowing for this breakthrough to happen. Now I'm sensing that there's a bit of stubbornness connected to this individual. It feels as if they like to process things in a certain way. They don't like to accept changes unless they are the ones that are instituting these changes. It feels as if when someone else is controlling the narrative, they feel very triggered and perhaps, you know, they might have some issues inside of them that uh, doesn't like to be controlled, doesn't like to be, um, you know, pushed in a certain way. It feels as if when they have their back against the corner, this person will try to think their way out of it, but they'll instead just be there, you know, not allowing for themselves to think outside of the box. So this could be very difficult for you to deal with, especially with this individual concerned. Let's see. Energy connecting the two of you. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. I also have a Twin Flame course for those of you that are interested. Now, these two energies have very strong roots in perhaps the past life element of this connection. Because it feels as if there's this energy of nostalgia that feels to be this sort of connection to a time when there was enlightenment, but it was, you know, coming from both sides. The two of you were getting to know each other. The two of you were starting to understand each other on a deeper level. But it feels like there's this energy of where, you know, this sort of potential and growth between the two of you has become stagnant because this individual doesn't have the courage to take that initiative to move forward. In another light, these energies here can be interpreted in a way in which the memories are coming back of how good it felt when the two of you were interacting and engaging with each other. And there's this sort of uh, feeling of feeling so connected, so connected to another human being in a way in which it wasn't experienced before. See, the energy that is on the bottom of the deck is very significant of 
the bond that is occurring between the two of you. I feel like many of you are thinking very deeply about this individual to a very large extent. They are on your mind. You constantly, you know, obsess over certain things. But this individual, I feel like they're stuck in the past to a certain degree. Let's have a look and see at another set of energies. You see, before there was this flow that was occurring between you and this individual where both you and this person could just reach out to each other. And it felt as if, you know, everything was just falling into place in this beautiful manner. And there wasn't this level of discomfort that is currently occurring right now where this individual feels as if they need to think twice before they get in touch with you. With this energy here, I'm seeing that you're discovering a lot about yourself that you were meant to discover as a result of this twin flame journey, right? It feels as if not only are you standing in your power, but you've gained a level of independence that you never had before. It feels as if you're progressing on this journey, whether or not this individual chooses to come with you, right? But you would like to take this individual with you. Now, what was propelling the twin flame sort of journey in the past is very much connected to the fact that, you know, there was a lot of waiting, there was a lot of stagnant energy, one individual didn't know what they want. It feels like the energy of not being able to break free out of that, I feel like you're waiting for them to make progress, you're waiting to see results, and um, the bond between the two of you was actually getting stronger during that time, okay? So that could be some sort of pattern or behavior that was established in your connection that is affecting the two of you in this lifetime, right? There might have been something that happened before that triggered this type of uh, connection to go down that path where there's a lack of movement because there was a lack of movement before. So it feels like the two of you got comfortable, right? So you started to change as an individual. I'm seeing that, you know, in terms of making a sacrifice to come together, it always felt as if it was a decision that had to be really contemplated. It always felt as if so many things had to be taken into account. It couldn't just be done so easily because your you know, relationship with this individual was, was very complicated. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. There's a lot of triggers that came out when there were opportunities for the two of you to make things work. It feels as if there's a power struggle. So it feels as if one individual feels as if they're the puppet master. There's this individual, uh, you know, energy that is coming out. We're just talking about surrounding energies. And this is uh, reflecting, you know, other people interfering in the connection, wanting more, not wanting to be um, satisfied with what is being currently offered. It feels like that energy was being triggered. So some of you might have been dealing with a twin flame that wasn't very evolved on a spiritual level. You know, it felt as if it was an uphill battle in a certain sort of a degree, and it felt very challenging in terms of dealing with the situation. Lots of conflict, and it was coming from indecision, someone playing games, perhaps. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. What I'm going to be looking at is your twin flames energy in great detail to see what they're going to be going through and what are they feeling? What are they thinking? What is the right way to move in regard to this connection? How do you really, you know, get this relationship out of this rut and move it towards an actual, you know, harmonious connection that can, uh, you know, last the test of time? I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.